This week on In the Field, staying safe when you are taking photos of the ocean. Hi everyone, my name is Scott Davenport and welcome to In the Field. Today uh, I want to talk a little bit about staying safe when you're shooting at the ocean. So uh, it, I love the ocean, that is really my, my subject of choice. Uh, if you've watched any of my previous videos, you'll notice that theme over and over again. You know, I take a lot of seascapes. And um, I see a lot of other photographers at the ocean as well, and some are better than others. And I'm not talking about how they use their camera or uh, their compositional skills or things like that. Some are better at other for being safe and understanding the power that the ocean will wield. And I want to show you some footage from a shoot I did in Ocean Beach. You know, don't worry, I'm not going to show anybody getting hurt or anything like that. But an example of a typical shooting situation that I'm in. And then some things about you know, how and why I would set up where I was, what I knew going into the shoot. All those things are going to add up to help make sure I come back to the studio in one piece. This is San Diego downtown, and Ocean Beach is on this little stretch of peninsula here. As I zoom in, you'll start to see the, let me actually switch over to satellite, and we'll see the pier come into view here. So here's the big pier, and then there are you know, some nice rocky areas right along the shoreline here. And uh, there's a couple of access points. There's a stairwell here, and I had wandered down along these rocks kind of to about this spot here and actually perched myself up behind this retaining wall. You'll see in a moment how you know heavy the surf was. And so I'm shooting out, you know, kind of this way, you know, the pier is coming out into the into the frame and of course, you know, a, a very gorgeous sunset happening on that evening. The base of the cliffs in Ocean Beach, California, and the tide is nearly all the way in and uh this, uh, actually, this incoming crest might give you a sense of what we're looking at here as the tide reaches its highest point, just as the sun starts to go down. So I've got myself up behind a pretty well-protected wall. Uh, that is my escape route. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to need to take the shots. And as soon as the sun dips down, <laughs> make sure I can get to dry ground with, uh, <laughs> with extreme haste. There we go. There's another hit. So uh, yeah, I'm going to get set up, get my uh, settings dialed in. As soon as the sun hits the horizon, it's about oh, 20 minutes or so away, we will be ready to go. As the sun's getting lower, I'm paying attention to the sky, watching for color. That's a nice flat horizon in the distance, and if I get a nice sky, I'll take the frames. And when I get nice wash on the foreground, I'll take shots as well. I give myself options in post-processing. I'd love to get it all in one shot, but you know, I have to think uh, for the worst case scenario. All too often I see photographers that aren't being safe. They're you know, paying attention to their camera as they're walking across the slippery rocks, uh, not paying attention to what the ocean is doing, and they're getting hit by waves. I've seen people fall and take some nasty spills and come out with you know, some, some cuts, no, no uh, emergency you know, services needed or things like that, thankfully. I've seen busted gear. Uh, I've seen soaked and drenched gear. You know, a, a lot of different things because you're, people aren't paying attention to their surroundings. And uh, you know, for this photo, as you saw in the footage, the, the waves were coming up very high and the tide was still rising. So it was uh, kind of easy. I could easily get cut off from, you know, as I call it, my escape route or my, my exit path the same way that I came to that location. Uh, you know, so I, I knew a lot of things going in. I knew what the tides were doing. I paid attention to the ocean um, before I walked out to my chosen spot, as well as while I was there, to get that feel of the rhythm of when are the waves hitting, when are they rising over and you know, hitting up against the retaining walls. I also chose my position so that I wouldn't have to be concerned at every moment to be looking over my shoulder uh, because uh, that's just not a fun experience. I mean, part of the reason I like to go out and make photographs is to enjoy the experience, not to be scared out of my wits. So the tip of the week is to be safe. You know, whether you're shooting in seascapes or you're out in the forests or you know, the desert, bring water, you know, things like that. You know, you, use your head, but be aware of your surroundings. 
know how far you've hiked to know that you have to hike back. Just all those things. It, it sounds like common sense, but uh, I think sometimes when we're excited about going out to you know a beautiful location, maybe somewhere we've never been before, uh, that we forget that you know we, we are in nature and the universe is powerful and we are small. So please be safe when you're out there. That's it for this week in the field. There will not be an in-post episode for this photo. And the reason for that is I described the post-processing of this photo in my new book. Uh, it's called On One Photo 10, Layers, Effects, and Masking. And uh, it's less than 10 bucks if you're an On One user. I encourage you to pick it up and check it out. And you know, that's you know, one way you can uh, support me coming back and doing videos like this, all the free stuff that I put out week after week. Uh, I will have some type of post-processing video up later in the week, so uh, you, know, you won't uh, lose out on your fix of post-processing from Scott, but it'll be a shorter form, something like a quick tip or so forth. And I'll be back again next week with you know, yet another round of videos. So until then, if you've got questions, reach out, contact me through my website. Uh, you can leave a comment here on the video, plus ones, likes, any type of thing that tells me you're enjoying these. Uh, those always, always, always help. So. Get on out there, have a great week, happy shooting.